Hello and welcome to the drinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and in this little series of films we're looking at the wines that are available on the high street in the summer going into the autumn of 2021 and the wines in this little film all come from Aldi. Do not cast Aldi off as some kind of cheap and cheerful supermarket. The wines that they do are sometimes extraordinarily good value and really good quality. They've got buyers there who really know what they're doing. So we've got two reds, two whites, a rosé and a fizz. They're all under £10. And we're going to kick off with two brutes of wines. Um, these are both 14% in alcohol, but I think they both would make really good barbecue wines. So first up, it's at 579. It's a Malbec called Buenas Vides. It's from Argentina. So like I say, 579. And oh, already I'm getting lots and lots of lovely, intense, concentrated plum on the nose. Some lovely black cherry in there too. Um, Argentina have made sort of Malbec their own, their home grape now. And it's, yeah, it's got a lot of depth to it in, on the nose. Yeah, on the palate, it's got some beautiful, there was a light black pepper. Um, and again, that fruit really works very, very well. So they're both 14%, these, uh, these two reds. Quite powerful wines, but like I say, for a barbecue, that's probably right, right where you want it to be. Really ro robust, I'm being uh, un ungenerous, but quite a robust, good outdoorsy wine. So next up, this is 6 99 It's Alianico del Vulture. So it's from Puglia in South Central Italy. Alianico is the great variety of Vulture. There's a mountain called Vulture. I think it's a redundant volcano and volcanic soils. Really, really work well with Italian grape varieties. And it's, uh, yeah, it's had some oak, um, but it's got some lovely smoky notes to it and it's damson. And again, it's quite concentrated. It smells a little bit sweeter than the Malbec. But smell, you can't smell sweetness, but, you know, it makes your mind expect something so slightly sweet. And that's because it's got some vanilla oak to it. And again, the oak really works well with that fruit. It's not overpowering, not domineering in any way. It just kind of supports it and makes it a little bit more supple in the mouth. Beautiful wine, six ninety nine a bottle. Again, 14% in alcohol, quite high, but equally really good really good for a barbecue really good outdoors wines okay also from Puglia we're on the whites now this is a Fiano and a Fiano is a great variety uh, comes from Puglia like I say and it's got beautiful peach aromas to it it's really lovely fresh um, uh, fresh floral uh, notes to it yeah on the palate it's good it's fresh it's mouth-watering it's open it's a really good high acidity which is what i like and it uh, the acidity and the fruitiness work well together um this wine it comes in at 4.99 a bottle it's less than a fiver a bottle and that would make a really good party wine for your summer um get lots of it chill it well people it's, it's interesting enough uh, for a party wine it's got some character to it um and it's cheap enough and that's <laughs> Frankly, it's what we're after. Super wine, well chilled. Okay, so we have got next, this is Jurançon Sec. It comes in at 6 99 a bottle. Uh, Jurançon is just on the, the northern side of the border between France and Spain, in the middle there. And it's got a lovely, yeah, citrusy grapefruit peel kind of nose to it. That's lovely, it's beautiful. I don't like grapefruit, but I love the smell of this wine. Yeah, and there's some lime and there's a little bit of tropicality to it. And there's some sort of slightly mineral notes to it, too. So it's kind of restrained. There's complexity in there. Like I say, at six ninety nine a bottle, that is a super, super wine. It's got plenty of interest, a beautiful wine. Think summer's evening, nice cold bottle of Durance en Sec. I, um, a recent Aldi tasting, lovely um, wine. It came out as my wine of the day. I just thought I just, a uh, super, super wine. Okay, so next up, talking of super sexy, here is a Cap Dagd Rosé. It's called Côte de Tau. Thau? Tau? What would you call it? Thau. Tau. Côte de Tau. It's um, 
just along from the border with uh, between France and Spain. It's in France and it's in that little armpit bit between on the Mediterranean there between uh, France and Spain. Um, that doesn't sound very appetizing, does it? But you know that bit, that, that, that little curve between France and Spain on the Mediterranean there. Um, and it's a lovely, super looking um, bottle. I think the bottle looks sexy. I love the colours. I think the colour of the, uh, the capsule at the top and the colour of the label against the pink looks Mediterranean, looks summer, looks holidays. And the wine itself has got that lovely sort of Provençal look to it. And it has got this sort of lovely... Whereas that was grapefruit, this is sort of more pink grapefruit. Certainly some citrus on the nose. And right at the back there, there is some peach and raspberry, sort of peach melba kind of uh, note. And again, it's dry and fresh, and it's everything I want a rosé to be. It's affordable at 6 49 It's pretty. It's got a great looking bottle. It tastes fabulous. What's not to like? It's 6 49 a bottle. Okay, so next up, we have got some fizz. I've been banging on about this Prosecco for years and years and years. There's also a rosé version of it, which is also very good. It's organic um, and it's a very pale wine. When I poured it, ooh, excuse me, when I poured it, it looks like a mountain stream. It's beautiful. It's very pale, very interesting, lovely, persistent mousse to it. And it's got some beautiful peach to it and the bubbles aren't aggressive in the slightest sometimes you drink quite cheap prosecco and it's kind of uh, like coca-cola a little bit violent in the mouth these are soft and generous and they coat the mouth beautifully it's elegant it's floral it's it's kind of everything you want prosecco to be it's 7.99 a bottle 7.99 for a lovely prosecco in fact you can buy all of these wines for less than 40 pounds now if you're having a party and you don't know what to buy there's something for everyone here you might want to buy a, a lighter uh, red to complement the, the two heavy, heavy uh, red wines. But hey, you know, there's something for everyone here. Less than 40 quid for these six bottles in total. What an amazing price. So get yourself down to Aldi, um, get yourself stocked up. These are super wines for the summer and, and, and into the autumn. Give us a like, give us a follow. And um, all the details of all of these wines are um, on YouTube below the screen here. And... Have a lovely, uh, responsibly drinking summertime. Let me know what you're drinking. Give us a follow on uh, Twitter, at Drinkersite. And here's to the lovely, lovely summer. Cheers now.